Hey, what's up everyone? It's the end of May. It's actually Friday leading up to Memorial Day weekend today. And I'm back out here on the river. I was on this river, oh, what was it, four days ago now? A few miles upstream from here. And I hammered the smallmouth on beds. So I figured I'd come try this stretch right here in the city today and see what I could find. Here's what I was using last time, this Nico rig. I figured I'd throw that again today. I've got a black and blue flake, Z-Man, big TRD. And then I got a size two VMC Nico hook. I've got that running through both the worm and the O-ring there. You can see that, I got a little black O-ring. Then I got a 1 16th ounce VMC Nico weight pegged into the bottom of that worm. And they could not say no to this last week, so we'll try it out here today. I pulled up and actually saw one on a bed. Looks like she's back. I kind of paddled right past her when I pulled up. So she took off, but let's see if we can get her. I'm gonna throw that worm over her bed a little bit so she doesn't get spooked. She took off to the left there, but she's not going far. Yep. And she was not thrilled about that worm going near her bed. First one of the day. Nice. Not a huge one, but I know there's some big bass on this stretch of river. Hopefully we can find some of those big mamas sitting on beds today. This one's a good way to start things off. Nice little one. On that Nico rig. And this is really a great rig for bed fishing. And I like these Z-Man big TRDs because they're a buoyant worm. So you throw it out there, it'll kind of sit up on its weighted end like that and sway as you twitch it. And that just entices them to nail it. And she went right back to her bed over there. That's what I like to see. So we got another one here. I didn't see anything sitting on that one. But we'll go paddle around. Try to find some more. It's a perfect day for it. Not much wind. Nice and sunny out. It's going to get a little warm this afternoon. I'm already kind of feeling the heat and it's only 9 a.m. on a bed. That's not a huge fish. We'll leave that one be. There's another bed. That one's empty though. Look at those two. bunch of bass right along this weed edge here. I'm gonna throw my worm up there. I'll give it a cast. See if anything nails it. Yeah, I've got a huge one. She just keeps doing circles back and forth around this weed line. I'm wondering if that's her bed. She keeps going right up by the stick up here. And it looks like it might be fanned out up there, so. If that's her bed or what? There she is right there, man. That is a big fish, too. I'm 
I'm gonna back up a little bit because I think this might be your bed right here. Checking that worm out. Oh, she's not happy. Got her. Oh, that one is a pig. Stay on, girl. Yeah, I pulled up and just saw her roaming around. I think I got a little bit too close to her bed, so I backed it up a little bit and she went right back over there. Jeez, this one is a tank. This one is probably net worthy. Come here, you. Man, look at that small mouth. Jeez. That is a pig right there. I'm gonna throw her on the measuring stick real quick here. Get a quick length on this one because I think she's a 20 incher. Oh, yeah. They're up against the board there. 20 and a quarter. Nice. Off you go. It's a nice fish. I did see another one roaming around over here too. There's another bed right up here, I think. So I'm gonna have to back it up a little bit more. Oh, there's that other one. Oh, that's the one that I just caught. They both looked big. Yeah, there's that other bed right there. I'm just gonna back it up a little bit. Sit and wait and watch for a minute to see if that other one comes and sits on that bed. There she is. Throw that worm just over her bed there. Oh, she's heading straight for it. Oh yeah. She was not having that. Yeah, they aren't really sitting on the beds today. They kind of seem to be patrolling the areas a little bit more. But they definitely are still protecting those beds. There's another chunk. Not quite as big as that last one, but definitely a good fish. I just had you. And she decided she wasn't quite done yet. Back 
gotcha. Yeah, that one's a pig. A good 18, 19 incher, I'd say. Nice fish. They do not like that Nico rig going anywhere near their nest. Yep, it's gonna be a good day today. There's a freaking tank. I'll be back for you in a minute. Get that worm off your bed. She's thinking about it. Gotcha. Oh, finally. Jeez, I've been trying to get this one for about 45 minutes now. She finally picked up that worm. I haven't switched over to the crawfish colored bitsy bug jig for a little bit. She wouldn't even touch that. Oh yeah, this is a good fish too. Come here. Well, maybe that's why she wasn't all that irritated. Look at that. She's blind in the one eye there. Maybe I was just pulling the worm up to the wrong side of her. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice fish. All right, she's got a battle wound there. Nice one. She is mean looking with that crazy eye. All right, back to your bed over there. Yeah, she's gonna do a quick swim first. Oh, that feels good. Finally getting them to bite. Jeez. I was just about to give up on that one. <laughs> oh, where'd she go? She went off this way. She's been kind of hanging out out here though, so I'm sure she'll hang out for a few minutes and head right back to her bed over there. That's what I've noticed they all do. Some of them go straight back, some of them hang out in a little bit deeper water for a minute or two. Ooh, there's a big one. I got a little bit too close and spooked her, so I'm gonna back up against this tree here. I'll drop anchor and see if we can catch her. She just came and looked right at me. I was afraid I got a little bit too close there. Guess not. Jeez, that one's a good fish. Uh-oh, i got to stick with my fish. Yeah, they're smart. They know to swim right into that stuff. Gotcha. 
She inhaled that thing. Nice and gentle. Wow, look at that one. That is a chunk. I'm gonna get a quick length measurement on her too. She might be another 20 incher. Oh yeah. There we go. We got her face right up against the board there. Look at that. 20 and a half. Is that as a pig? Big old smolly. And she was aggressive too. See you later. shallow water. Oh, hit the dang stump. Oh, jeez. Can make me fall in again. Well, I better get my worm fixed up here because I see a big one right there. She's got a bed right up along the bank. Oh, she went straight for that worm. Ooh, she turned away from it though. She's definitely aggressive. She didn't get it quite on her bed over there. There we go. That should make her angry. picked it up. I'm going to get this one. Gotcha. Oh yeah, that's another nice one. and just taking her away from these sticks. Yeah, it took a few minutes to get this one. She was kind of picky over there, but finally she snapped and had enough of that worm crawling across her bed. She's a big one. All right, come on up here, girl. Nice. Well, that's worth it being kind of slow the last hour. I've mostly just been paddling around looking for beds. Some clouds moved in, so it's not making it any easier, really. But I saw this one sitting over there, right up along the bank. Quite ready yet. Looks like he's hooked pretty well at least. Gotcha. Man, look at that. Beautiful smallmouth. 
another one on the Nico. We'll get a quick measure on her too. She's over 20. Right up against the bump board there. She is 20 and a half. Fish number three today, that's been 20 inches or better. Yeah, it's been a pretty good day. All right, I just paddled by this nest right out in front of that bush with the white flowers. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a nice size molly sitting over there. Oh, she's going to look at that worm. Got her. Yep, she was not playing around. Tell you what, one piece of equipment that I'm really glad I have for bed fishing is that power pole. That thing lets me keep perfectly still. And for some of those pickier fish, I have to sit and mess around with for five, 10 minutes. Man, I don't think I'd be able to do it without that power pole. This one's another fatty. This might be 20 inch or number four today. Gotcha. Man, look at that chunk. Yep, she did not like that Nico worm on her bed. We'll throw her on the measuring stick too. So I think she might be another 20 incher. Man, that is a thick fish right there. Oh yeah, another 20 and a half. Nice, man. We're pulling some tanks off beds today. What an awesome day of fishing it's been. Last 20 and a half that I caught, she was right up here. Let's see if she's back on her bed over here. Yep, there she is. That's two 20 and a half, so about 100 feet apart. Oh. She was about to pick it up. It's about five feet from her bed. Yeah, she has pretty much no interest in it over there. There we go. That'll get her attention. Got her. There's like another one sitting right up here. I wonder if that's a bed right off that log. Jeez, this one's another chunk. Oh, get out of there. Get off of that stick.
Well, this might be 20 inch or number five. Jeez, I'm getting some pigs out here today. Woo, man. Jeez, look at that smallmouth. That Nico rigged Z-Man TRD is getting the job done today. That's what I'm getting them on. The black and blue flake. Nico rigged with a number two BMC hook and a 16th ounce Nico weight. I'll throw this girl on the measuring stick. Boom, another. Oh, she's about 20 and a quarter. Another pig. Man, what an awesome day. Man, I'm just having too much fun out here today. Here we go. I'm gonna stand back up because there's another one sitting on a bed right over here, and I think that one might even be bigger. I suppose I should probably get my worm fixed here. This one to bite now. I'm trying to catch her for about ten minutes now. I think she's finally starting to get agitated. Got her. Oh, that is a pig. Oh, come on up here now. Gotcha. And that is another chunk. Look at that thing. Another one with a blind eye. Jeez, what a pig. I don't know, she might be 20 number six today. Jeez, what a crazy day it's been. It's fun enough pulling these fish off beds, let alone a bunch of 20 inchers. Oh, look at that. She is 20 and three quarters. Jeez, that is a chunk. Kind of a finicky one, but she bit that worm eventually. That's what the power pole is nice for. Those ones that you gotta sit and bounce that worm in front of them for a good five, 10 minutes. Eventually they'll snap and have enough of that. It's been an awesome day of fishing. I think I've had about enough though. My stomach is starting to rumble. I'm about out of water. And man, those smallmouth wore me out today. My thumbs are hurting, my arms are hurting. <laughs> that was a lot of fun though. Totally worth it. Well, time to load up the kayak and go grab myself some dinner. Thanks for coming along. I'll see you guys next time.